Yo, what's going on guys? Kenny here. So it's about 8.45 in the morning. It's a Saturday and I have to work today. I usually don't have to work on Saturdays, but we have a pretty tight deadline coming up for a product that we need to deliver. And I volunteered to work a little overtime. So I'm gonna go into work for about four hours and try to get some work done. But today I really wanted to make a video on five things that you should know as an Android developer. So I'm gonna make some breakfast, I'm gonna get ready and go to work. And once I get back from work, I'm gonna make that video. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so before I start this video, I just want to say that all these things that I'm going to be talking about are my professional opinion. And I know from experience that companies are looking for, especially my company, when hiring Android developers. With that being said, here are five things you should know as an Android developer. So number one, Kotlin. Kotlin is a relatively new language to Android and it made its first stable release into Android not too long ago. The great thing about Kotlin is it integrates seamlessly with Java so you can start writing Kotlin code with your current existing Java code and have almost no issues using it. So I've been programming in Kotlin for about eight months now and to be honest, I love it. There are so many great features of Kotlin like null safety check, lambda expressions, extension functions, and a lot more. Kotlin is the latest and greatest for Android, so if you haven't started learning it, start as soon as you can. Number two, MVVM or Model View View Model. You might be familiar with MVC, Model View Controller, or MVP, Model View Presenter, which are just architectural design patterns for designing software. MVVM is a little different, and here's why I think you should learn it over other patterns. First off, this is the structure that Google actually recommends that you use when designing applications. Google has so many libraries out there like architecture components that just integrate so nicely with this type of programming architecture. Secondly, when designing code in MVVM, your UI logic is completely separated from your business logic. This makes things so much more testable, which is essential to having great software. Number three, material design. Material design is essentially a set of UI principles developed by Google and when done properly can yield a very beautiful mobile application. Material design essentially tells you where, when, and how to put certain views on your application. It gives you the colors that you should be using to make your app really pop out. And Google provides you with some libraries that you can use in your application to have some really awesome views. Guys, I cannot stress this enough. When making a mobile application, the design of the application is equally as important as the functionality. I've seen a lot of mobile applications out there that nobody wants to use because the design is clunky, the app looks ugly, and it just doesn't seem user friendly. No matter how great of a tool your app might be, most people won't use your app if it's not well designed. So when developing a mobile app, really think about how you want to design it, follow material design guidelines. There's actually a website out there called uplabs.com that you can use to find inspiration to create really beautiful designed applications. So I use this website all the time for my own inspiration just so I can make sure that I'm following material design guidelines and I'm creating really well looking applications. Number four, testing frameworks. If you haven't already, you should get familiar with the various testing frameworks out there for Android. Testing frameworks that I would recommend that you learn are JUnit, Makito, and Espresso. Once you get familiar with these frameworks, you should be writing unit tests and UI tests just to ensure that you're writing testable code. Test-driven development is something a lot of companies are looking for nowadays, and when I interviewed for a Fortune 500 company, they actually had me do a coding example where I had to do test-driven development and write the test first before I actually wrote the real code. So yeah, learn these testing frameworks and learn how to write testable code. All right, number five. This one doesn't really specifically relate to Android development, but I think it's something that every developer should learn or at least have a knowledge of, and that's agile development. A very high level overview of agile is basically it's just a methodology used to create software to deliver it in a timely manner. There's a lot more to agile than that, but that's pretty much the high level overview. 
I really suggest that you at least understand how agile works because a lot of big companies out there they're looking for people who know and understand agile anyways guys that's gonna wrap up the video I hope you found this information helpful and if you have any other questions please leave them in the comments I would love to answer them but until next time I'll see you guys later